Today's Friday, uh, and it's super hot. It's like crazy hot. A 90, what? Five? That's hot for here. Um, I was just in the sun, and I was like, <laughs> no thanks. Um, there's a few sales. I don't know how many we're going to go to. Um, we're going to one in Cliffside Park. First, I don't know if it's going to be anything good or whatever. You know, it's always the same. Are, are these mostly estate sales? or I have to buy so randomly lately. I, you know, especially when I go to sales. I never... Some are, some are. Okay. Yeah, I never know what I'm going to get. Like when people bring us stuff at the store, I kind of know what they're going to bring us. Like last week they brought us a bunch of Hot Wheels. Actually, it was this week. This week they, they brought us a bunch of Hot Wheels and video games and just the stuff that we, that we like. People want to bring us Funko Pops maybe this week. I don't know. Funko Pops are kind of sell it. They sell slow. I don't know if they're dying or just people that have them get fed up with it. They're like, you know, because people go nuts collecting them. And, and then, then it's like, I think they're, they're going to be like Beanie Babies. Maybe. There might be certain ones, just like Beanie Babies, that are still worth money. Yeah, maybe. Money. But they right just on make too many of them. They make too many. Right. You know? Uh, should I go to the one in Park? Yeah, yeah, just do it. What the hell? Why not? It's not like we're going to it before anybody else. Alright, so we're going to a few sales. If I get anything good, I will video it. I spent a dollar, um, and you spent ten dollars. Uh, uh, ten dollars. So Mary was asking the... me if this was a good Garfield, and I said it's probably worth like ten bucks. So even if I if I were to sell it, i sell it for five to whatever. I don't care. It's just, it's, it's fun. And I can always give it to someone uh, if I don't sell it. That's so, a guess. The, and you said these had their tags on them still? Well, this one did. That one. Oh, but okay. because she had, this one doesn't, but it's new. Yeah, will you use these or will you sell them? I don't know, I might. Oh, so this is Juicy Couture. Yeah, and it still has the Macy tag on it, so I know it's not fake. Yeah, she ripped off the original price, Macy's backstage. But there you go. Uh, and this one still has a little piece of plastic protecting that. And it still has the, the inside... Um, Foam. Yeah, the, the, the packaging, the foam okay. inside. What do you think you can sell those for? I don't know. Okay. After you don't sell them for too much, even at the I might market. keep them. There you go. There you go. Because I like those wristlets. They're called Yeah, wristlets. I noticed that lately. Okay, so... One sale down. Because when you have a big purse, you end up shoving crap in there. I know. And then it's heavy, and you're like, why is this so heavy? And then you go in there like, why do I have all this crap in here? Yeah, I know. I know. When and I was a kid, my mom's purse was huge. Everything you needed was in there. Tissue. Oh, yeah. A cut. She had this cup like a duffel that bag. would fold down. That would, it was like a telescope. I know those. Cup. Yeah, the Boy Scouts to, used to have. Yeah, to, to get something to drink. Yeah, it's like a military. Yeah, They used to have like because military they, they duffel They used bag. to have water fountains in the park when we used to, you know. Yeah, back then the everything city. was bigger, too. You know what I mean? I mean, now. Everything was like just I big and clunky. I was probably drinking water from lead pipes or something, but. Well, yeah, back then. Well, probably now. Probably the water's worse than it was back then, to be honest, you know. All the, I, I mean, I'm sure they didn't have to, microplastics in the water when your mom little, was here. When I was real little, we used to go down to Carl Schultz Park. Yeah. That's on the east side of it. Now. Yeah. I, all I remember is that around Easter, they used to have a, maybe it was like an egg hunt or something. It was something for the kids. And they used to do dances. Uh, when I was little, I would go on the grass in front of our building, and the cops would yell at me. <laughs> well, that was when I was a little older. Hey, moved up to get the off the grass. It's like, God and damn it. And they let us on the grass. And the like, projects. Uh, what do you have grass for? <laughs> no, you had to play in the freaking concrete <laughs> parking block with the metal stuff. Uh, well, it was mostly a problem. Well, in front of my house, we had, like, this kind of concrete steps with a no, tunnel. We didn't. So it's great for getting, like, mugged <laughs> and, and then thrown off of concrete, you know. Down the and then we had those steps. metal thing. No. And, and then they put the padding, well, remember? The is, but it was always black, so when it was hot out, you'd be like, ah! We my just flesh. learned how to play stuff that didn't have to be done on the grass. I guess. We did hopscotch, we did double dutch, we did yeah. uh, stoop any, ball. There was a bunch of. No, we didn't have a stoop. Stoop ball was my brother when we lived down in yeah. that lower Manhattan. Stoop ball is where you just like. But uh, we would play the other one where you just, if you had a wall, Our, you could. He used yeah. to play stoop ball and he used to play stick ball. Yeah, but if you had a wall, you could kind of do that game where you like you well, throw it at the wall. Ball. Yeah, hand, that's it, handball. Stupid. I don't remember. I haven't played handballs in like since what I was a Spaldine. kid. What a Spaldine! Remember Spaldine? Sure, they still make them. I don't I, see them. They, they were better have... than the, the hard rubber ones because when the hard rubber, if you miss it, and it hit you. It'd be like. Pfft. 
there you go, family. You can cross the street. But this guy's Let like, them cross. Yeah, and he's, yeah, I was going to say, like, he made yeah, like, he's going to and then she's going to drive around them. How about a, you know what, uh, roofing. People like, have become so disrespectful. With the Mickey Mouse hat, two ladies There's a little the kid street. looking all cute with his Mickey Mouse hat, yeah. and two ladies are trying to cr and like, come on! It takes yeah. you three seconds, this, maybe, to stop your car and let them cross in front. That of you. guy was like, I'm maybe crossing. five seconds. Yeah, yeah. it's it's what's that's the big just, deal? That's You're in like a car. so terrible. How this world is going. Yeah, I'm not even gonna say no it's the kids. Everybody would go like. Because we're we're not kids, because we're older. And we're it like, was another woman it's driving the kids. In car. No, some mean person that. As just a fellow woman, hates. we should be looking out for each yeah. other. A mother, you know what I mean? Maybe she's well, not. Well, maybe a she's not a mother yet. But I still, guess. Still not cool. As no. women, we should have each other's back. You would think. You would think. As women, you would. Look at the little gazebo they decorated for Fourth of July. They must. They're probably gonna have something in the little park, I guess, right? I always, I always show like when we're driving around, what's uh, what the streets look like, so you can get a view of what it's like to be up here. And yeah, you know, when we're the talking. Fuzzes are around. Yeah, we got fuzzes too. I think too. that's what's get caught. It might makes me choke. Well, yeah, the dandelion stuff, right? That's what I it think is, that's it. what that is. Yeah, or or, or uh, yeah, it's probably dandelions, dander, right? Yeah, this guy. Watch this guy. What? 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 What guy? Oh, that guy. You scared the hell out of because me. I didn't, didn't see because him. Because you didn't see him. He's not even looking at us. He's just like moseying across the street. You know what I mean? He didn't even look. He still this, didn't even. He didn't look around. this way at all. He's like watching the bird or something. I don't know what he's watching. Well, yeah. but I didn't know. You know, sometimes they they start to run and there were cars in the way. I didn't think you would see him. Wow, look at this luxury townhomes for sale. Yeah. When did they build that? I don't know. They're just building everything. We were talking about the mayor in our town. This. Knock this down, put up four things. Yeah, we're talking they about take the, down the mayor in our town. Put up two. That's what's... There's a gorilla Korean it's, bar, barbecue. Well, I never it, heard of that place. It, no, it's a all you can eat the hot pot. Or oh, is that it? I never seen the back of it. Table. They have a big gorilla on a. On yeah, the wall. it's gorilla. It's called uh, gorilla barbecue, Korean barbecue. Gorilla Korean barbecue. There's, uh, they have one down here, and then they this have is one up by Park. Main Street. Yeah. Here, look at all we the. We went there once. It's just too much food. Did we? And I don't to even eat remember. All that meat. Yeah, we want my brother. Remember? Oh, uh, I thought we went to the the brother one. Whatever. Uh, it's the same meat guys. Thing. It's the same thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought we went to the meat guys. Which I is think the same they changed thing. the name to Gorilla or something. The Korean barbecues. If you can eat a lot of food and you're willing and to like spend like forty bucks, meat. yeah, it's a lot of meat. But it's like forty bucks a person, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not cheap. But it's good but, food. But it's all you can eat. And, yeah. And it's good. And no, it's, it's good and it's food. Cook, you cook it at your table. So you got to make sure you don't fuck up if you're cooking pork, you know? Well, they'll come over and they'll help you. The guy, the waiters and waitresses. Oh, no, they were very nice. They came yeah. right away and helped us flip the meat and stuff. And yeah. we weren't doing it right. I just, I can't get into I mean, I the food is really good, but I'd rather just not eat that all you much. can eat. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's too much. Because then you just feel tired Who's that the gold glue? Wait, wait, that place changed? The Big Old Blue? No. That used to be the uh, Turkish place. Yeah, it's the same. That's okay. the name. Alright, I forget. Big Old Blue. Oh, look, Compton's. That's new. Wow. Everybody eats sandwich shop. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's new. I mean, to have a sandwich shop, if it's a real sandwich shop. Alright. What's this? Papa John's. Ugh, I don't even know why people buy I never eat a Papa John's. Like, Screw buy him. some real pizza. Yeah. He's, uh, he, you know, he's not even a spokesman for the company anymore because, uh, uh, I don't know, he didn't want to pay people, he didn't want to raise the minimum wage. Did you have an stuff. argument with him over the internet once? No, no, I had an argument with some guy that said, uh, that he said owned a he pizzeria. Said, oh. And he's like, if I, if I pay people $20 an hour, I'm going to raise, I have to raise the price of pizza like a dollar. I'm like, yeah, so raise it a dollar, who cares? I'll pay it. Yeah, I said, I'll pay it. I know at least the people that, that are working for you aren't like, uh, hate their jobs or whatever, at least, you know, spit on my pizza. yeah, pretty much. It's like maybe they can hate their jobs a little bit less, you know? I mean, I worked at, when I worked at Burger King, I was burning my arms all the time, you know? Just because the ovens and stuff, you gotta imagine those pizza dudes, well, they probably get like real careful right away, you know? Those things get hot, you know? You touch, you touch a little bit of flesh on that, you're like, <laughs> When I uh, was a teenager, we used to go to the pizza 
parlor in the winter and sit behind because their oven was set up in such a way that there was like a table behind it. Yeah. And we would sit behind the oven because oh, it was wow. cold. Get the pizza oven warm. No, the Ferenc sign is there. Somebody threw it into the yard. That's what I'm saying. But that the owner of the house wouldn't have done that. He might have. No, somebody yeah. else did that. Well, maybe the real estate agent did it. They wouldn't just throw it in the yard. They would take it with them because they use those signs. They're expensive. Hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe they said uh, they said put it in your yard where we can grab it. You know what I mean? And he just chucked it over the fence. I don't think so. People are lazy. People chuck stuff all the time. You, know? you wouldn't be. You'd be surprised. Or one piece of I'm not surprised. But uh, anyway, we're going to the post office now for my three sales. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, so so far. Is school over? I don't know. I think yeah. It should, wasn't it like the 17th or I got? There's nothing going on there. I gotta call Susan. The sign was over there. I mean, Susan's not here. None of the crossing guards are here. And they shut the sign off. Yeah. So maybe it is. Maybe they're done. Oh, they got out they're early. They're going to go year. through. Oh, it's yellow. Nice. All right. Anyway, I gotta go to the post office. Bye. Okay, Marie bought ties. Um, I spent twenty five dollars. She got a lot of similar makers in case they're not worth too much. She went by patterns that she likes. Uh, she got some that were made by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I don't know. Maybe they're they're done after famous artists or or some or tapestries. Okay, Bert Pulitzer is that the guy that won the Pulitzer Prize? <laughs> I created it. I have no clue, right? Um, uh, Michael Kors, and and she, you've been design, you've been buying ties, Brooks Brothers, uh, Tommy Hilfiger. So she's been buying ties, and if she can get them like a buck or two, she figures maybe what you can do is just lot them, you know. Um, and they're not heavy to. They're not heavy to ship. Here's that's another Metropolitan. Uh, we got, oh Ralph Lauren. Liberty. Liberty of London. I got like five of those. I put this one has a stain right there. I didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, li another Liberty. So these. Uh, I mean, it, maybe it'll come clean, you know. Metropolitan. Oh, so Metropolitan by Lord and Taylor. Uh, maybe that's a pattern or a design. That's the hard thing about them. Here's some more Liberty ones. That's, oh, that's Liberty. A DK and my Here's Lauren. a Ralph, Ralph Lauren. Well, maybe it'll come clean. Or maybe it's I got to. I gotta get one of those tight. I don't know if I can. Because they're silk, silk. Yeah. See, the Liberty ones, I think, are cotton. Cotton, okay. Metropolitan by Lauren Taylor. I had two of those, but yeah, I Yeah, I, I just showed the first one. Yeah, oh, yeah. there's a Black spot and brown. Look at that little tiny spot I missed. I see. I mean, you know, maybe you could show, you lot them, the ones. No, I just I'm going to see if I could get a spot remover. Stain yeah. Stain stick. Yeah, maybe a stain stick. Something you pour powder on and it's just more Liberty. Yeah, because, I mean, the thing is, you can always lot them in, like, like small spots or stains here and there, like, do five, and just sort them off for, like, any stupid price, you know? But, or, or another Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger, I, I always say Hilfiger, uh, Burt Pulitzer, the creator of the Pulitzer Prize, uh... It's always, wherever we look at them, another Tommy Hilfiger, it's always dark, you know? I mean, you could always, if you do a Tommy Hilfiger lot, just throw in one with a small stain, you know what I mean? And say, like, oh, all of these are good, but this one has a tiny stain here, you know, uh, take it to your dry cleaner. And then and then it'll average out for them, you know? Uh, Gregor, uh, Joffrey Bean. People don't know this, but, but if you go to buy a tie, they're generally expensive, unless you buy them at Walmart. Okay. Another Tommy Hilfiger. I don't even know. Where do you go to buy t uh, ties nowadays? Just, uh, like Macy's. I guess. Ola Cassini. And Hart Schaefer. That sounds like I some kind of... I don't know who it was, but there was like two of them. And they were nicely made. Sounds like a cat food or something. And I think it was made in USA, so... Yeah, these are all nice ties. I think if you, if you break them up, if you're going to do some lots, just by similar patterns, like Paisley ties, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Mark yeah, Jacobs, uh, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not really telling you so much. Right I'm telling the, the world. Street. All right, anyway, that's that's what we bought. Yep. I mean, the house is nice here, but to get to here, like some of the streets we had to drive, yikes, you know? Um, 
Anyway, I bought ethnic CDs. Sometimes they're worth buying, and I just I'll sell them at the flea market if they don't sell. If they're not worth that much, the first one, uh, this one's sexy. Usually the sexy ones are worth good money. You know, they have like the the uh, pretty chicas or whatever. Uh, I don't know if I got that word right. Which, I did. Get it right. Look at that. Um, it does it. Is that his girl? Um, this one I scanned, and it's scanning at like thirty bucks. So, chicas bonitas. Chicas bonitas, pretty girls. Okay. Um, so this one scanned at thirty, so it doesn't matter. I only paid fifty cents a piece, three whole dollars. That's it. Marie bought more ties. Um, you said you got a, some coach ties. Is there anything you want to show me special, or just we spent an, another wow. ninety-five dollars? People only put them on for like twenty bucks. Are you kidding? Yeah, but that's fine because you got three. A lot of free coach ties, fifty bucks. Pays for everything, and you're done. You know what I mean? Why don't coach ties go for money? I don't know. Maybe they're stinky. They Maybe they're like twenty bucks. Still, you got three. Uh, here, I'll just see if I can show some of the names. Calvin Klein. Again, Marie's gonna do like a lot. This one has the tags on. It's brand new. Look, thirty bucks at Lord and Taylor. Don't even know when they were selling it. You can see all the designs and patterns. Let me see. I'm trying to get some. I don't know. Uh, here, here's Polo Ralph Lauren. You got a bunch of those. Let's see. Here's uh, Laurent Mont Montiel. It's nice looking. I already showed that one. Okay, I think I think you guys get the picture. They're designer ties. Okay, Marie paid um, three for five. All right, here's what I got. Got a bunch of t-shirts. You know what? Let me turn this off so I can I can show these better. Um, I also besides the t-shirts, which I'll show after this, I got this Walter Wolf Racing aftershave. Never heard of it. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna have to see if I can figure it out online. It was five bucks. Uh, let's see what it sold for originally. Nine bucks. Uh, hopefully, I couldn't find it on eBay, so maybe it's discontinued. Geneva P.O. Walter Wright is a guy from, uh, yeah, I don't know who this is, so whatever. I'll give it a shot. If it's not worth it, I'll just ditch it. I'll show the t-shirts next. Yeah, I was in Dunkin' Donuts and the line was just too long. Uh, I just put a bunch of shirts, three for five. Um, these are mostly going to be probably for flea market. Uh, some will be for me to wear, because I will wear shirts, except they're like large. Not really nice. uh, so this is another anime. This is My Hero Academia. This is uh, Beetlejuice. I bought it because of the movie. It's just out. Nothing here too old. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I thought that was fun. Um, this is a wrestling uh, t-shirt. Los, uh, who is that? Uh, whatever. Uh, Sons of Anarchy. I would wear that one. Green uh, Day. I would wear that. I bought this because of Ghostbusters. Poltergeist, classic. I thought this bought this because it was fun. Uh, this one's kind of old. I don't know if it's worth anything. Uh, Whitney, somebody's gonna buy Whitney for sure. Uh, Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Uh, I don't know who this band is, All Time Low, but they were touring in 2011. And then I got li Live and Loud. Oh, it's an MTV t-shirt. Th these are those cool graphics, but this one's not really old. Um, you can tell because of, um, what do you call it? They, 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 they print it on the collar. If it had a label, it would be older. And uh, that's why I bought Here, show me the jewelry you got. Just put it right here. So these are nice. Uh, swank. They're swank. It's a nice set. This is swank. We spent 95 this again is, for everything. Um, lapis and jade. Uh, this is also swank. In the box, very nice. Uh, beautiful set. You probably lapis sell these for like 25 at least, these right? These are uh, swank. Also swank. Ones like these you sell 20, 25, 30, right? Something like that. No. No. Not even, like these 20? are swank, but I also have the tie clip. And what do they call these? This one is like a twenty-five dollar one. Yeah. What do they call these? That's a wrap around. Wrap around. Um. So what? What will you lot them or? This is uh, sterling. sterling. Yeah, the sterlings are easily twenty-five. No, this 25 is one. Right? Uh, no, because these these all are special. Like I do them all separate. And you would do them. This for like one I might only do for twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Okay. But this is a twenty-four. This might be a twenty-five Five, to thirty. thirty yeah. That's and the same for this one. Yeah, I know the loose ones are a little less. Yeah, I got. Yeah, it's this. nice to have the presentation box. Here, just put it right here. Hold on, I gotta open the box. Okay. Email. I will show you these a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's a nice mosaic and I cross. Have the original box. Does that have and the thing in the center that you look through? No, but it's nice and clean. Well, it has well, some. Oh, nice I see. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. That's probably twenty to twenty-five, right? Yeah, that's like. 
maybe 30. I messed up the cot. Don't worry about the cot. We'll fix it later. I'm half hot. I'm half cold. I'm out, I, it's like 95 degrees out here, but the air is blowing on me, so. And then this that you had picked out with the nice Yeah, if these beads. are really Murano. He said five. You can get like 30 for that, right? And these sometimes, most of the time, Chinese, silver. Chinese, silver, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's silver because yeah, those like are the, the blue and white liquid beads. silver beads, right? Yeah. And this is Asian, of course. Yeah, was right? that all okay. the jewelry I got? I, I guess so. so. You spent 35. I spent no, 30 I spent on the t-shirt. No, I spent 30 and 30. Oh, we spent 30 on the ties, 30 on the jewelry. I spent 30 on the t-shirts and then five on that that uh, per perfume. I, I found it probably worth about 20, yeah, but I might put it for 25 or 30 anyway. What happened? I think you knocked my pen on the floor. I'll find it. All right, we're out of here. Bye.